Today's forecast calls for a blustery 60 degrees below zero. Atmospheric pressure so low, your blood will boil. And a global dust storm that will blot out the sun for the next three months. Weather like that would be unprecedented on Earth, but it's just a typical daily forecast on Mars. A forecast you wouldn't survive. Taking your spacesuit off on the planet Mars is not a good thing. The first thing you notice is that the pressure is very, very low. Your body fluids would literally start boiling instantly. Mars today is a frozen wasteland, choking in dust and swept by whirlwinds as high as Mount Everest. But once it was a paradise very similar to Earth, how did Mars go so terribly wrong? And what would happen if Earth had to face this fate tomorrow? Earth's is just one kind of weather on other planets. National Geographic Channel presents A Planet in Motion. There are storms beyond the imagination, climates and conditions that we hope to never see on Earth. But could they happen here? And if so, could we survive deadliest space weather? This morning, the sun rises over a devastated Earth. Our balmy weather has been blasted away, replaced by the icy near vacuum of Mars. Mighty rivers boil and freeze at the same instant. Towering whirlwinds of dust swallow our cities. And in places like sunny Southern California, it's lights out. Luckily for Earth, disasters like these have spared us so far. But why have they happened to Mars? Thanks to NASA missions like the Spirit, Opportunity, and Curiosity rovers, we know that the fourth planet from the Sun, with half the Earth's diameter and a third of its gravity, has the most Earth-like weather of any known planet. It has distinct seasons. It's got two polar caps. It's got an atmosphere that can sustain ferocious winds. It's got dust storms like over the Sahara Desert on Earth. Looks like kind of a livable place. 